producing a package of tax increases and spending cuts. It's a dramatic departure from the conservative government's last mini-budget just a couple of months ago. That one called for billions of dollars in subsidies and tax cuts. There's a pilot there. There's a, a backwards The fretboard extension over the body is loose now and we drilled a couple of pilot holes and have this extended uh, soldering pencil point heating up the joint so we can free up the, the neck from the body. We'll know in a little bit. There's always a gap between the, the head block section of the dovetail and the, the actual dovetail that's cut into the neck. So we're aiming to get the heat in that gap. The neck is getting pretty wiggly now so what we've got here is a pad under the heel and then we have the two cam clamps and as we put as we tighten the cam clamps, it pushes the heel, well, the, the, the heel pushes on the pad, and so eventually the, uh, the heel will loosen and lift right up. We'll probably have to reset the clamps a couple times. But yep, now would be a good time. <laughs> yes. This perfect time. <laughs> yeah. Pull this bad boy out, or you can. Pull me cleaner. <laughs> sure is wiggly. Oh, I just heard some glue release. Yeah. As far as that one's going. Of course the camera was off when it finally popped free, but as you can imagine, it was like this and now it's like this. <laughs> um, we can just see the faint traces of the drill marks from where we put in the heat. And this actually came off cleaner than a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to let this dry for several days before we start playing around trying to reset the angle of the neck. But at least it's off now. Yes. Yeah, that, that really did come out clean. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a good... Mm-hmm. Looking like you can see this is a shim that they put in on this side. Mm-hmm. I used to think I was doing something wrong when I had to shim dovetail joints, but I've come to realize that it's kind of a common practice when they're first built. Okay, well, we'll let that dry. Excellent. We're taking turns um, tapering the heel so that we can reset the angle of the neck to the body. We're initially taking about a 32nd of an inch off the bottom of the heel and then of course tapering up to nothing at the top of the heel. And once we get both sides squared off, we'll stick the neck back on to the body, see how much more we have to remove. So here we are, been playing around getting the 
the wedges. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but there you have it. <laughs> um, so we have the neck fitting very nicely. And because of the reset, of course, the, the neck is, is angled upward now, which means we either have to put a wedge under the fretboard at the end, or the fretboard, as it breaks across the 12th fret, is going to just dip down, which seems kind of crazy. We don't want that. No, no. We want it to be playable up high. So we've made this ebony wedge that's that's uh, it's a little over a sixteenth of an inch thick at the thick end, and then it tapers down to oblivion. Um, we're going to glue that on the fretboard, and also the fretboard has a crack in it, yeah, which we knew. Yeah. So we'll work some glue into the crack. We had to take all the frets out. Um, but we'll get glue in the crack and then glue the wedge on and uh, just wait well, for it to We're going to try to work some glue into this crack here. And so I've offset the, the two pieces of the fingerboard so that we can brush on the glue. And, and once we load the glue into that, then we'll glue the wedge into place. An ink clamp, like crazy. It's messy with the paper. Roger that. Oops. Let's crack the other direction to get the other edge. Okay. And now we want to glue the, the wedge. Well, that's good and wet. Sure is. Okay. I know we had marks there at the 14th fret. So we're past the mark now? Yeah, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, Is it there? Yeah. Uh, lift up a little bit. Thanks. Okay, so one clamp at a time. We're going to flip this over just so we can lay the neck down. Okay. Go ahead. I'll, I'll hold the neck. 